Welcome to Let's Play Gran Turismo 4 Part 26. So, um, I done goofed. Basically, I, uh, well, I recorded the uh, commentary for this segment. I had my mic turned off. Isn't that fucking lovely? So, post commentary, and it's probably gonna suck. Anyways, so, uh, for the series, first I was contemplating what the fuck I should use, and I, um, hey, DeLorean, let's use this. Yeah. So, gotten a DeLorean. And here we go. Starting with the first professional event of the game, the Clubman Cup. Five races, 3,000 winner prize, and the first race, Apricot Hill. But wait, the DeLorean wasn't good enough. I believe I finished third in that race. A very far back third. So, um, fuck that car. So let's try this uh, Chrysler Pro Prowler. Lur. 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 See how I do in that. Cause why the fuck not? Well fucking shit. Why is that of all cars a special car? Like I don't get it. So, cross her power. Nope. Just nope. Not that. So what the fuck do I use? Uh, uh, I have so many cars for just only buying a couple. Let's use this RX-8 concept. The Type 1 concept. So why the fuck not? It's not like I have many other options, and I'm trying to use shit that I haven't fucking used yet in this game, so eh. So anyways, professional events. Clubman Cup. Yeah. Apricot Hill. Let's fucking try this again. And here we go. Apricot Hill. Raceway. Race time. 99 points. Eh, not bad. It's proved to be difficult, most likely. And we here we go. Boom. Must make annoying sounds. So this is post commentary, and I have no idea what the fuck to say. And I'm just trying to replicate shit that's happening. Anyways, to the first turn. Oh. Making contact like I always do. Make more, a little more contact. Just a light tap to get him out of my way. Already two seconds behind the leader, but I'm not too concerned at this point. Bonk. Yeah. Fucking gravel there. No, it's a very bad idea. It slows you way the fuck down. Went through the fuck carousel turn. Moved up into me. I was gonna get a run on him, but no. Moved up into me. Oh. And then Mr. Elise here fucking just kind of drives by both of us. Fucking god damn it. I think I got I got a horrible run off of that hairpin. Just bring it down the first gear. Because I could not accelerate for some reason. That fucking Elise, holy shit. It's like it it wants the lead really bad. Oh, going forward into the final turn. Nope, couldn't get alongside. Careful. Too. By the way, three lap races, because longer races since Professional League, yeah! He's leading to the first turn, he at least has lead! Ugh. Couldn't make it clean, but got a nice uh, outbreaking overtake there. Now I'm right on the fucking ass of the Elise. Which is exactly where I want to be. Actually, I want to be in front of him, but you know. 
That at least has a lot of power. Look how he's, he's fucking driving away from me. Get a good run off the carousel. Got a good run. Got some momentum, but he just fucking out accelerates the shit out of my car. So what do I do? Late braking! And I slowed down way too much, but I got around him for now. Surprised he didn't overtake me there. And through the chicane. I got a wheel off. Not a big deal. Alright, one more lap to go. Race one. Smoothly into the first turn. Got took that slid down a little too much there, but not too bad. One and a half second advantage, so that's good. Ugh. Seemed pretty bad. I don't know. At least gained a little time on me. Nothing to be super concerned about. I hope. Gotta get a good run off that carousel for his fucking straightaway because fuck that Elise. Two hairpin. A little late on the brakes. Throw it down in the first gear. Here comes the fucking Elise. Not passing me, bro. Alright. My P's and Q's. Pretty good run through the chicane. Now the final turn. Kept it full throttle. Nice. At least I think it kept it full throttle. Now, here comes the Elise, but too little, too late. I win. That's race one. One by four tenths of a second. <laughs> Six seconds behind us, the fucking Renault. Third place car, holy shit. Oh god. It's screen shake. Huzzar. So this is gonna be a difficult series if that at least is there every time. Three thousand credits, yeah. Onward to race two, which is going to be at Motegi East. So I finished second, probably because of the fucking Elise. So I'm going to upgrade this car a bit. I think the Elise just kind of absolutely dominated that race. And I could do absolutely nothing about it, so uh, yeah. Let's get this racing, uh, a little too much power. Or not enough, because stage one turbo. It's nice. Did I add any more? Yes. I got the racing exhaust. So that brings me up to 327 horsepower. <clears throat> and hopefully enough to uh, take on the Elise. Because fuck that Elise. So back to the Clubman Cup we go. And back to Motegi East we go. So here we go. Oh god. Just kind of split second there on the pre-race screen. My bad. Hooray for my shitty editing skills. I didn't pay attention to the A-spec points, so fuck me. But it shouldn't. It should be actually possible now. Vroom car, vroom. Here we go. First two commence. Down the hill. Into the first turn. Ooh, damn it. Fucking 
Slow ass motherfucker. Get out of my way. Oh god. That was the worst line ever. Okay. That's one down. Four to go. Whoa! Fucking Cleo just kind of randomly tapped the brake. I don't know what happened there. I know there was some brake tapping and it, it fucking. I panicked. Because fuck those guys. And somehow I ended up in third place. From that. Not sure how, but I did. Two more cars. Yoink. Oh, I don't even think the Elise was in this race. In which case, fuck you, Elise. Hmm, how much? Might have actually accidentally left out. I probably took off the upgrade since the Elise wasn't in the race. It's pro it's something I would do. So that's probably what happened. Ugh. I still have to go to the first turn. I fucking missed the apex, went wide, but apparently I did better than whoever the fuck that was. Oh, this is bad. Alright. Cover nicely. Easy to turn. Slightly late apex to maximize acceleration. Because that's what I do. Because fuck me. Yeah. Forever adjusting my fucking mic. And I have a six second fucking lead. Wonderful. That's just great. I also took that last turn pretty shitty. Whatever, final lap, I'm like 10 years ahead. Ten years ahead. You heard me. Yoink. Yoink. Fucking yawn, see if I can get through that a little better, which I did. Just pulling the fuck away. Yeah, this series is easy if it if the Elise wasn't here. Gotta have that uber strong car that's vastly superior to everything else in the series. Because fuck you, that's why. Just a couple more turns to go. And this dominating run of race two, with 14 second lead. Are they even going to finish before the fade? Something tells me no. There we go. Race 2 victory. See if this Integra can finish before the fade. Also just over 5 minutes. Oh. I saw that little tick as the fade was happening. 
So he barely got in in time. 3,000 credits for me. There we go. So, race three now to Seoul Central. This is an interesting little street circuit. And, uh, once again, the Elise is not here, so guess what? I'm downgrading this car. So I guess I didn't do it at, a uh, uh, fucking... Motagi. That's where I just was, like, two seconds ago. Anyways, take the turbo off, but I'm gonna keep the exhaust just in case I need that little extra power. Because this is a, uh power centric track can't tell by the map it's also a very simple track but simple does not equal bad because it's actually kind of a fun track to race on I can't entirely tell you why it's fun but it, yeah, I've always found this track to be entertaining to me maybe because of how retardedly wide it is good way to start the race hitting the wall it's always a nice way to start things off. Now if I could actually like, you know, gain a position, also four laps instead of three because this track is kind of short. Kind of short. It is short. Out of the narrow part back into the 70 lane fucking road. And just like that, I'm on the podium. Fucking blink, I passed three cars. And finally, for the roundabout. A nice roundabout turn. Now that's a lap around Seoul Central. It's a shame this track didn't come back in GT5. It's a shame a lot of tracks didn't come back in GT5. The uh, track exclusivity between games in the Gran Turismo series, I do not like. Because there are some tracks I'd love to see again, like Red Rock Valley. And, oh god. And Route 11. Both configurations. Just Route 11 Classic and Route 11 Modern. That's all you have to do. Uh, what else is there? Well, there's this track. Um, fuck, what else? I know there's more. Oh, fuck no. Anyways, you, get, you understand what I'm trying to say. Be cool if they brought back the Pikes Peak track from GT2 and made it from, you know, since they have the technology now technology of accuracy they could probably do the, like, full Pikes Peak Hill Climb circuit now which would be fucking awesome, but I highly doubt that's gonna happen I don't know this is gonna be they, they already said they're only adding like, a few tracks in GT6 as opposed to the track roster in GT5, so... Apparently Mount Panorama is going to be one of those, which I am fucking excited for. You don't even know. And yeah. By the way, I'm in the lead. Just thought I'd throw that out there. stuff. It's gonna be cool to kind of see some other tracks. I don't really get a lot of screen time in like big budget racing games. I know I know it's in the Need for Speed Shift series, but Brands Hatch was definitely one of them. Like oh hello super fail. Good. But yeah, Brands Hatch would be a nice track to see. Um, 
What else? In GG6, I'd love to see either Road Manic, Road Atlanta and or Road America. That'd be fucking great. Maybe Mid Ohio. Mid Ohio is a pretty cool track. Um What else? What else? I don't know. All I know is that I'm off final turn and I'm gonna win this race quite easily. There you go. So, three races down. This one was under five minutes. Oh, uh, no one by 6.7. Nice. At least it wasn't any 15 fucking f ah. So there we go. Another victory, another 3,000, 3, 3, for me. Bam. And onwards to race four, which is going to take place at Clubman Stage Route 5. So here we go, night racing time, still no sign of the Elise. Whatever, let's go. Still a 91 point race, so. Eh. I love it's like, upgrade my car to combat the Elise. Meanwhile, in no race ever, the Elise. Alright, here we go. Lots of earth quaking. Screen is shaking, the earth is quaking. My asshole's baking. Cupcakes. Asshole cupcakes. Anyways. That was a very bad first turn. It's right along the fucking outside. Crash my way into the f to f to uh, the front. We got five laps around here because you know short track and stuff. There we go, complete lap one. Hurt my way in second. Leader's kind of far ahead, three seconds to be exact. But I have four laps to catch up, so I'm not too concerned. I'm not concerned at all. Look at that, I already cut the gap by two seconds. Dark 7 stands no chance. And I figured just get out of my fucking way. Whoa. There we go. Oh fuck. That's a wall. And just like that, I'm in the lead. That just leaves three laps for me to just drive away with this shit, I guess. Just drift around the first turn. Or the tunnel turn, as I should call it, because we're in a tunnel. That little left right there, it seems to get tighter over the years. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. Other bit than being stupid. I think I had a brain fade moment where I was thinking I was on the special stage. I don't know why, but uh, you know me. I'm stupid in all the right ways. Oh, 
Well, two to go. Ooh, going wide. Let's keep that down on the track. the void of emptiness off to the side. Like here's some skyscrapers and literally nothing else. I am 11 seconds ahead. Holy shit. That was a wall. Alright, two more turns to go. Off on the turn, I'm f almost 14 seconds ahead. Good. There we go, finish. Four races down. Bizarre. So that just leaves one more. Just give me my 3,000 credits. And here we go to the finale. Won by f almost 15 seconds, God damn it! Last race, Deep Forest Raceway. Three laps, and here we go. This time, the Elise is here. So guess what I'm doing? Putting that fucking turbo on. So let me just uh, find it. There we go. All right, and here we go. Race number five of the Clubman Cup. And it's a 47-point race, thanks to that turbo. And exhaust, but you know. Will it be 47-point easy? Probably not. Because fuck that Elise. But anyways, we're off and running. Yoink. Okay. Alright, I'm fourth. Good start. Gotta catch up with that at least as quickly as possible before he get, gets away. So I just uh, work my way around those guys. Now. For the Elise. Oh my god, this is a horrible line. That was absolutely atrocious. Down the back. Looks like he still out accelerates me, maybe. Yoink. And into the lead I go. Just like that. Your move, Elise. I'll probably end up pulling away from him, probably. Two seconds ahead already, but that was just because he backed the fuck off on that final turn. 
Blue going wide, going wide. I'm in the grass. Uh, uh. Recover. Going, oh, God. Carl, why are you so slidey? Why am I taking these turns too goddamn fast? And I'm four seconds ahead of the Elise. Okay. Derp onto the back. Still pulling the fuck away. So I think it added a little too much power to this thing. I that he at least sucks at this track, I don't know. Point is, final lap, I'm way ahead. There's no stopping me. Only I can stop me. Doing a good job at it, or at least I'm trying. Alrighty. And steady doesn't do that. Oh god. Well, good thing I had that large lead. That was some bullshit. Still not being contested. So, bleh. Still six seconds ahead after that near spin. And around the final turn. And the Clubman Cup belongs to me. Bizarre. How much did I win by? Eight seconds. Okay. Fantastic. I'm glad I made this fucking easy for me. You've, unintentionally. Fuck me. Over 3,000 more credits and then it is prize car time. Yeah. So what am I going to win? Ooh, Mazda Speed 6. Nice. It's pretty. So let's check it out in the garage. There we go, all gold. Clubman Cup victory. Oh man, more circuits being added all. To the fucking free run shit. Alright, now where is this car? Here is this car. Mazda Speed 6. Walla la bam. And with that, stay tuned for more GT4 shenanigans and stuff.